Minnesota lost to Illinois 26 to 14. Illinois is clearing themselves to be the They've had top a team very fortunate season. You know, they've gotten some good breaks and they played well too. Jake right? Brown is looking like a guy. Yeah, be, being well, he get a lot of damn carries. I don't know how much stock I've put into Chase Brown being all that good when he faces a defense that can play the run with with their base defense without bringing eight or nine guys into the into the box because they just belligerently hand him the ball every play. Yeah, um, forty one carries. Yeah, Jesus. that's that's I'm, that's unholy. That is very unholy. Um, but then Tommy DeVito still gets thirty two pass attempts. Yeah, okay. My that my thing is is that I don't think Illinois' run offense is so good that they're going to make you adjust on defense. If you're an elite defense. Iowa, I, I don't – they're good, not great. Mm-hmm. They're good, not great. Yeah. And they barely beat Iowa. Like, barely. You, you're, you're not going to force – at least not Michigan. You're not going to force Michigan into a game – that's under double digits. It's virtually impossible at this point. Mm-hmm. So in terms of where they are in, in the hierarchy of, of the big 10, I don't think they're necessarily there yet, but could they end up winning the West and be there at the end of the year in the big 10 title game? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think so. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I don't think they'll be able to handle whoever comes from the East though. No, no. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, they're not they are, they are not an actual upper echelon Big Ten team in reality. It's just the nature that is of their you know their division that it's so wide open that the most competent team right now will probably end up winning it out, and that looks like Illinois right now, mm-hmm. followed by probably Purdue. Purdue. They play each other on November twelfth. Okay. So I mean, up until then, I don't think Illinois really has any other. Major competition at this point. It's uh, it's Nebraska, which we'll we'll talk about Nebraska here in a moment. Uh, then Michigan State, Purdue. Oh, then they play you guys, and then Northwestern. So actually, they do have a little bit of competition. I wonder if they can beat Michigan State. I wonder if Illinois can can go to are they in East Lansing or Champaign? It looks like it's in Champaign. Yep, that bodes well for them. Yep. Yep, yep. Michigan State has been horrendous on the road this year. I'm just upset that Minnesota have lost to the other two Big Ten West teams that pose a threat. Yeah, very kind of unlucky for them. Kind of unlucky for them. I think injuries played a role in both of those losses. Literally, they didn't have Mo for Purdue, and they didn't Mm -hmm. have Tanner Morgan for this one. So, yep, yep, yep. Kind of tough. Kind of tough. You got to roll that boat though. Mm -hmm. So, but that prediction just kind (laughs) of. I mean, uh, hey, the nature of the Big Ten West. Yeah, you got a chance. Stay in the fight. It's just now they they need a little little you know wreckage to happen in front of them. Yeah, no, for sure. 